Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release. But in this video, we're talking about an update that Microsoft has released with new features for version 23H2. This is the C release or the feature update for the month of October. We don't have a 24H2 update yet for the main release, but I'm thinking that a lot of you are still on 23H2 and haven't updated to 24H2. So this video is perfect for you because Microsoft is releasing some new features in this latest update for the main release. In this video, we're talking about the build to 22631.4391 or build code KB5045380. If you want to see more videos about all these new features and builds from Windows 11, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So as I've said, this is the C release or the feature update. Basically, for those of you who don't know, Microsoft releases two different builds for the main release of Windows 11. One build, which is the Patch Tuesday or the security update on the second Tuesday of the month and in the last or second to last Tuesday of the month they usually release the C release or the feature update. So let's talk about what is new in this new feature update for 23H2. The following features that I'm going to mention are features that are gradually rolling out so you may not see them right away. First of all Microsoft is introducing a new layout for the on-screen keyboard which is called the gamepad keyboard layout. With this you can use your Xbox controller to move around the screen and type. Button accelerators are also available. These include the X button for backspace and the the Y button for the spacebar. For better movement patterns, the keyboard keys are aligned vertically. Also, if you go into settings, system, and then notifications, we're going to see that you can now stop the suggestions to turn off notifications from certain apps. So you can see here, notification suggestions. This entry will only be available after you receive a notification, so you can turn that off if you want. Also, related to the start menu, Microsoft is changing the start menu all apps to just all. is just a small change, but I think it's better this way. The name doesn't take up as much space from the the start menu. Also related to the narrator, Microsoft adds a new narrator shortcut. You can press the narrator key plus control plus X to copy while narrator last spoke to the clipboard. This shortcut is useful when you want to quickly copy some content like codes or numbers for use. And also narrator will now auto read the contents of an email message in the new Outlook. This is like the behavior in Outlook Classic. As a normal rollout, we have a few features for Copilot plus PCs. If you go to settings, personalization, and then text input, we're going to notice this new option, customize Copilot key on keyboard choose what happens when you press the copilot key you can select search or a custom app of your choice also Microsoft fixed an issue where a device used too much battery power while the device was in modern standby also an issue was fixed related to the Microsoft teams the issue stops you from joining teams meetings when you select an outlook meeting reminder also Microsoft fixed an issue which adds new phone numbers for several regions and also when you use a USB cable to connect to it it prints a specific network command text when you do want it to this was also fixed related to printers of course we're also getting the Windows 11 service in stack, which basically ensures that you can install Windows updates reliably. Of course, in the following days, if Microsoft releases also a feature update for 24H2, I'm going to make an updated video, but this is the feature update for version 23H2. More info about these in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase and until next time, have a nice day.